Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I think EA have just dropped the greatest swaps program ever. Like, the rewards for the time of the game, for what we have to do to get them. There are so many freaking W's about this team of the season season swaps that is completely different than any swaps program we have ever seen before. Along with this W new swaps program, we have the new Foot Champs and Division Rivals rewards in the game, and of course... We have the market that is crashing and nobody expected this, man. And it is drawing the market down in price. People are panic selling because of all of the craziness that is going on right now in this game. So we're going to talk about that because we still feel positively about the market. It's just people are seeing this content and they are panic selling, which is creating new lower prices than we have ever seen. So let's get into the swaps program. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. It's all in objectives, guys. That's where it all is. It's in the season progress tab. And in some of the objectives, wow, it looks so, like, dead in here with only two single objectives that are out right now in the objectives tab. But you go into season progress, and this is where it starts getting crazy. All you have to do is get to level 5 before you see your first team of the season moments player. It is Giovanni Reyna, but it's just like a swaps program where you get the choice between whether you want the player or whether you want the pack. Right here at level 5, you get a Gio Reyna team of the season moments card, 5 star skills, 3 star weak foot, um, still a W card. I think I'm going to be going for this Gio Reyna for the USA squad for sure, but then you also have an 85 times 5 pack in here. Only 4700 XP. That's really easy to get, guys. Like, you're going to see as we look through this, yes, it is a season and you have to get XP, but that's going to be really easy to get like really soon on this game. Level five is not something it takes very long to get. Uh, you move on down the list. You've got some, of course, the badges. You get the TFOs that are in here. That's kind of a sick TFO actually right there. Uh, some more packs like the, the packs in between the big rewards aren't that insane, but it's basically what EA have done is they have combined a normal season progress with normal objectives, packs, TFOs and all that, whatever, with insane rewards. Rewards. You get to level 10. You see a Dimitri Payet. Of course, he's already had an insane card this year with the Winter Wild Cards. This Dimitri Payet with the five star skills and the four star weak foot from his Winter Wild Cards. That is a skill move boost. So a five star skill Payet card with a pretty nice upgrade. He can play center attacking mid and striker. Look at those stats, man. He's got outside the foot, flare, technical dribbler. That is an insane card to get from level 10. Like, And the thing that makes us such a W right away when you look at the rewards is it's like... I get, I get the choice, first of all, between a Team of the Season Payette and an 85 times 10 pack, which if you don't think you're going to use this card, then go for the 85 times 10. But what often do we have when we have a swaps program, right? We have to choose, do you want the packs or, you know, do you want to try to gamble your way with some player pick like the 15 token player pick from Foot Birthday Swaps? This time, you can take actual quality players or you can take packs, but you're still getting packs along the way like these small prime goals, like a normal season, but you have the choice to take the fodder packs too. So this is just incredible because it gives you options, right? That's one of the big W's about this. Moving on, 80 plus rare player, 81 double. You've got a Caicedo card at level 15. He looks pretty good. Um, no traits is a little disappointing. He plays CDM and center mid, and he does not have uh, like a four star or above. He's 3-3, three, three, but high, high. That's a card if you're going to use Matoma, like Matoma's getting a Tots Moments card soon. That is a mental card to be linking there. But of, of course, if you don't want the card, you can of course get an 83 times 15 at level 15. So that's a W there. Um, maybe not as big of a W as level maybe 10. But you got an 83 double moving on. You've got a, another 83 double. And you got a 25, 80. This is where it gets crazy. Level 20, right? Which again, you can say like, Nate, this is going to take me so long to get to, right? It takes me a long time to get all the XP to get up this point, but let's be honest, guys, it doesn't take that crazy long, especially when we're going to look at inside of objectives already. Look at all these objectives that EA have dropped right here. I know that some of them are not able to be claimed for a while down the line, like, you know, April 29th, May 1st, May 2nd. We're, that's only a couple days away, though, so you're going to be able to play 15 matches, win eight complete 
the daily login SBC one time to get 1200 XP. Like it, it is very attainable to get through this season pass with all of this XP boost right here and probably more of the XP to come. Now I'm not saying we're going to be able to get to level 40 in like a week uh, or level 30 in a week. It's probably going to take us a while to get towards the end here, but the rewards at the end are worth it. And we're all grinding the game during team of the season in this stage anyway, because it's one of the best times on FIFA um, and EA just made it even better with this. So level 20, right? 25, 84 plus is one of your options. It's an 84, 25, but you also have a foot birthday icon, Desai, which is if you take a look on this market with the panic selling that we have, a lot of the panic selling today is based around these guys that are in the swaps rewards. Desai is 320,000 coins. He's basically been halved in price. He started today at 530K. He was all the way down to 296 before he's kind of rebounded back up a little bit. And I understand why these prices are falling because now if you have a Desai in your team, you're like, well, shoot, I can go get this card for free, right? Uh, here in a couple of, of weeks, probably getting to level 20 to pick this card. So that's why there's panic here. But also at the same time, it's gonna take a couple weeks like we mentioned, to get to this card, which is why his price is rebounding back. But all of this, and we'll talk about it uh, further, like look at the low price. We, Gold Mbappe is under 300,000 coins or 300K right now. That is way lower than what he was. There is a ton of panic right now on this market. We'll get to that more in a second. But let me take you guys through the rest of these rewards because it is nuts. So at level 20, we're not done yet at level 20. We've got Desai, the 8425. You've also got a one of three E-Figs Tots player pick so that would be from any of the top five leagues you have a player pick between any tots player in any of those uh i guess maybe this is gonna have to be something that'll be open towards the end of team of the season or maybe you could try to get it done as fast as you can so there's less players that are in the pool right if you think about it maybe uh, this would include players from community tots from any of the top five leagues, but then also Premier League tots. If you're able to get to level 20 and choose this player pick by the time you get to like Premier Bundesliga, that might really increase your chances of packing a Bundesliga card or a Premier League card if that's what you're kind of going for. So that's kind of an interesting one there because level 20, it'll take a couple weeks to get there, but not like crazy insane. Moving on towards the end, this is where it gets even better. 83 plus times three, 83 plus times three. You got a flashback Jesus Navas with five star skills. If you need a right back and you run a Syria or you run a La Liga team or just a right mid, maybe this card's going to be really, really good for you. Great stats. Of course, you always, the, the strength is the biggest issue on Jesus Navas. 75 strength, but with 95 aggression, 95 stamina. It looks like a really nice card good traits. That might not be what a lot of people go for unless you run uh, La Liga, but there's an 85 times five. This one back here kind of feels like, wow, I got all the way to here to get an 85 times five where at the other levels before that, there was an 84 times 25. So it almost feels like here, if you want the really big fodder pack, the 84, 25 for me might be worth it right here. Desai is insane. It's going to go into so many people's teams the efix tots player pick would be a very fun gamble right it's kind of like your 15 token player pick sort of thing uh but back here i feel like jesus navas might be the play because i feel like a 92 rated flashback card with those links is going to be more worth it than an 85 times five i wish this pack was a little bit better that's one of the only downsides i see to this reward set right now and then we get to the very back the last line level 26 to 30 84 double a mega pack a rare mega pack a 30 times 84 plus players pack, which is a W, right? Massive pack. We saw these added to the code a couple of days ago. We also have the big boy Rooney. Five-star skills, high, high work rates, foot birthday icon Wayne Rooney. Um, his price, just like Desai, is down horrendous because I think a lot of people are going to get to level 30 and take the, think about the level 30 cards. We had McTominay last season as a level 30 card. Compare McTominay to this, right? This is absolutely nuts for a level 30. This was an 800,000 coin card before this happened. He's down, he was down to 479. He's back up to about 515. There's a lot of panic selling on these guys that are specifically in the rewards because it's just insane. These are way better players than we normally ever get from a swaps program or from season progress alone, you combine that all into one, and that's what's making this such a big W. Now, the last reward here at level 30 is a one of five 90 plus Premier League, La Liga, or League One team of the season player pick. And this, for the DGens out there, 
is going to be a gamble that you might not want to pass up on. It's a one of five. It's a 90 plus. So you're going to get only the big boys. Some L's are going to be in here. You know it is. But Premier League, La Liga, and League One. If you're taking fodder packs like the 8425 earlier on, if you're going to take the Jesus Navas for like a cool card, basically if you're not going for Rooney right here and you don't want the 84 times 30 because you're going to take the 8425 earlier, then this is like an incredible, incredible player pick to get. But again, guys, these rewards are insane. The objectives are already starting to be released to get us XP, right? And this is just insane. This is absolutely nuts from EA. GG's. It's it's great how it is because I feel like there's a couple of W's about this. First of all, it's all through uh, XP. There are no tokens, right? In swaps programs of past, you have to worry about collecting tokens. Have I got them all? Have I missed any, right? And there's this swap section in here where you're trying to keep track. The token trackers, remember? All of that stuff. Wave it goodbye because now you don't have to worry about turning actual cards in. And I think, especially for people in this game that don't understand the swaps promos, maybe some casuals that are brand new to FIFA, I think a lot of people were even like quick selling those swaps cards because they didn't know what they were for. And now this gets everybody involved because all you have to do is complete objectives and you have to get XP. And then, of course, when it pops up that you have a reward in here, boom, you know you're going to be close. You know you can go claim that reward. Uh, and I think that's a W, not having to figure out and mess with, okay, how many swap tokens am I on? How many more are there left to drop? EA is removing all of that and they're saying, hey, we're going to do it all with uh, XP. Now, on uh, the pop-up message that showed in-game, and I want to pull that up for you guys here uh, because I remember a tweet of that. There's also supposed to be a website that is posting... Um, like how like a web page about how this works but right now the link is not working if you scan that qr code that's in fifa about tot swaps it's not working but one of the things you'll notice about this pop-up shout out to weaver who screenshotted this and tweeted it uh xp is not only available from just objectives like it normally is for the season progress there's going to be foot moments and sbcs where we will be earning xp each week and that's how you progress even further down the line so it's going to be even easier to get XP to progress inside of the season progress to get to these good rewards even faster, right? That's a W part about this as well. It'll be weird, right? Imagine going and doing an SBC and getting, instead of getting like a, a token for it, you get XP. Like that's kind of weird, but also cool at the same time. That's kind of how it's going to work. You can even see in this community tot season swaps objective, which by the way, again, is only out for eight days. So it's going to be out until basically a couple days after this May 2nd period when it's when this is over. So I would say try to stay up to date. Uh, they even tell us this 81 times, an 81 player pick times three upgrade. Is that what this is? It's going to be releasing on May 1st. So on May 1st, uh, EA is literally giving us some insight to next Monday. They're going to be dropping an 81 plus player pick times three or something like that. So that's going to be content next Monday. Shout out to EA. Uh, they're going to drop a TOTS challenge season three or challenge three, right? The challenge one and the challenge two are going to be dropped on the 29th and the 30th. So, you know, marquee matchups that drops today is going to have XP inside of it. The TOTS daily login today you could do is going to have XP. Earn three stars in the moments game mode. Boom, you get 1,250 XP. So there's a lot of XP that is inside of this. Like we're talking, uh, that's definitely over 10 to like maybe even 12,000 XP. And, you know, think about how far that gets you in season progress. You can basically get Payette in the next couple of days on this game, apart from uh, other milestones that uh, I guess these don't really give too much XP, but you know, we're going to have more objectives dropping in the game. Uh, or, or maybe this is a way that EA is going to be able to slow the progression of the season progress is maybe they're only going to drop uh, some objectives that will allow us to progress at a certain speed inside of this, which is a little different than normal, which is why this objectives tab is probably pretty empty. But Keep a close eye on that because at least the way that it is right now, we're going to be able to get to Payette by basically less than a week from now. We'll be able to get this Payette card um, and then probably even further down the line. So that is a W, right? And the whole thing to me really, really seems like a W. And it's also just brand new and it's a shock. It really has not much to do at all with SBCs since it's all kind of based in the objectives. And uh, that's where you claim everything. There's no swaps you have to turn. In. I think that's a W. But since this is brand new... Guys, we've already seen the prices. The market is absolutely getting thrashed, man. Everybody is seeing this content like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. 
panic, 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 because that's what happens often when we see uh, brand new content like this that is so insane get dropped on the game. You see a ton of panic selling. People are going and selling cards like this Ginola. It's crazy to say this, but I think this Ginola is dropping so much in price right now because of the payette that is in the objectives that people are going to be able to get in the next two, three days. So they're like, why would I have a 500 or what was 600,000 coin Ginola card when I can go get a free payette in a couple of days and I'll be sorted, right? That's the reason why the market is crashing so much right now. And it's it's everywhere. It really is, right? But nobody expected this to happen. And that's the thing. I'll, I'll say this. Am I disappointed that I'm losing coins? I know a lot of us are losing coins right now. Yeah, man, it sucks to lose coins. But at the same time, I will always be appreciative and I will be happy to lose some coins, right? We'll make it back. We can always make coins back in this game. But I'll be way more happy losing coins when it comes in this sort of form, when it's I'm losing coins because of EA releasing absolutely insane content, not when it's I'm losing coins because I made a bad trade or people started like, there was a leak or something like that. But when it's absolutely insane content and ideas dropped on this game, then I'm okay losing coins or I'm more okay losing coins in that manner, right? So I'm losing probably, I don't even know, probably like 500K on a lot of special cards. Like I poured 8 million coins, like all that I had into specials on like Saturday and Sunday. Now, some of them are up still from where I bought, like ESOC is still up 50K per card for me. But you, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Nate, man, we bought cards during this week because prices were so low from where they were. I bought Darwin Nunez at 380, my man. And he is how much right now? 350. 350. Look at this panic today. It's absolutely wild. But I have good news because the same thing we've been talking about this whole entire weekend about prices going to bounce back because people are going to go and buy teams, it is still going to happen, guys. I know this content is nuts and the leaked cards that we have right now um, for like, I think uh, Foot Sheriff posted a, a, a list of players that was like the full team um, here recently. Todd's community, right? We, we know all these cards. There's going to be some really insane cards dropping on this game. I'm not saying everything is going to bounce back, but what I am saying is still the same premise that a lot of people are going to open coins and a lot of cards are going to go up in value that are out of packs because they're rare, they are meta, and they are popular is going to stay true. So I would say if you have coins, I would be looking around this market because there are ample opportunities to make coins on some of these rare cards that are very popular, very meta and very rare. Like the fact that the Felix and the Nunez are so cheap, like that is wild. Now we still, we have, we have yet to see how big of a juice they're going to give the actual team of the season cards. But with these team of the season moments, which looks like we're going to have tots moments in packs as well. It looks like that might be the thing. You know, the Payette was a plus two overall boost for a card in objectives, plus twos, plus threes, and plus fours. That's a solid upgrade for an objective card, in my opinion. A lot of times, the objective cards don't get as boosted as much. Um, Reyna with plus fives and plus sixes is up to a 91 rated card. Caicedo, of course, he doesn't, does he have like one special this year? He doesn't have any specials this year besides his World Cup card. Huge upgrade for him. That's a sick card just, you know, because there's uh, never been one of him in the game yet this year. The uh, boost on the Jesus Navas is insane. So they're boosting these cards up really, really nice. And I think that's what's also causing a lot of the panic because people are seeing like, wow, the leaks plus the combination of what just got dropped in objectives is making the market panic a lot. So I understand that prices are down like crazy everywhere. And yes, they're probably going to continue to fall into today. There is gameplay demand today, though. There is. Uh, so I will tell you this, that today is going to be a decent day to be trading, too. I know that I don't have a lot of coins. I'm probably going to sell a few things here. I bought this Firmino at 339. Could have sold them at 370, 380. And now what is he like 300,000 coins? Yeah, 299, man, like down like crazy. I'm going to take a few losses just so that I have coins to trade with because with how low these cards have dropped on a lot of these prices, I don't even want to look at Mudrick. He's probably like 400K. How much is Mudrick? Oh my gosh, 389. Yeah, we might be losing like seven to 800K here, guys. But hey, you know what? I'll take it because I know I can make those coins back. And this is just incredible content. Like I said, incredible content. I'm way happier losing coins then than I would be uh, if the content or the coin loss is because of like something else. So that's what's going on with this game right now. We're going to watch fodder very closely today. I also want to take a quick look through division rivals rewards. 
because I believe these were updated. Wow, Div 8, look at me out here not playing rivals in the entire last season and being in Division 8. What are the rewards in here? Uh, I want to jump to rank... I want to jump to rank four because that's where I think they said the better rewards start. What do we see? Preview rewards, the reward upgrade. You get a prime gold players pack. Okay, so I think it's in the milestone rewards that you actually get uh, the team of the season players in reds, right? So if you get division eight, let's go back up to D4. Division four, you get 90 games. What do you get from this? A prime gold players pack, untradeable. Uh, okay, so you only get the player picks if you get to... Wow, you have to play 90 games to get the player pick. One of three Tots foot champs. You get the Jumbo Red Players Pack for D4. What if you get it? What do you get at D5? Division 5? Nothing? Really? You don't get any? I thought they said you were going to get loans. Okay, so you we got to play 90 games of rivals in these next upcoming uh, seasons to get the Tots foot champs player pick. There's a one of five in Division 1. Division 2, you get a one of four. Uh, I could have swore they said that in Division uh, 5 to 10, you were still going to be able to get, like, loans or something. Maybe it doesn't show here in the rewards, or maybe I'm missing it. I don't know. Um, let me go back here. Division 8 preview rewards. What's this? P preview rewards. Maybe it's in reward upgrade. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. So that's kind of the upgrade and rewards there for the rivals, which, I mean, technically, I'm, I'm halfway interested to try to grind it out. But it's going to be tough to get all the way up to, like, Division 4. Or to division three now let's look here in the rewards do these are these updated one of three foot champs players uh are these rewards not updated one of three foot champs players interesting the red picks don't say team of the season on them right now for foot champs so i would assume that still has to get updated because i guess one of five maybe that means you get the one of five are those all player picks that you get so you get a one of four. Yeah, I think there needs to be some more updating in here. I feel like EA's got to change that a little bit. I don't know. Because there were some definitely different like player picks uh, relating to like community tots and air to busy tots. Maybe I need to qualify for weekend league to actually see that. Um, but yeah, I'm a little interested in that. But at least the rivals rewards are updated. I bet squad battles is as well. I'm not going to check those out because of squad battles. But um, I know there's some good rewards updates in there. But that's kind of how what things are going on right now in this game. We got an absolutely insane swaps program. I wanted to explain that to you guys today and look through that because it is truly a W, the players that you get in there uh, and the choices that you have to choose packs or to choose the insane player. So big shout out to EA. Like this is honestly incredible content, fair play, nothing but thumbs up and I'm losing coins, but the content's great. So GG's man. All right, lads, that's the video for today. I'll see you guys in the stream. It's been Nathan for the Accountant. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, comment, all that. I'm in a tizzy, man. This content's insane. All right, guys, catch you later. Peace out.